What's up, everybody? This is Brian Pfeiffer, MarketingMeatHead.com. Today, I got a special treat for you. I'm going to be bringing on my buddy Colin from Amsterdam, who's a super affiliate and also teaches affiliate marketing. What's up, Colin? This is Brian. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. How are you? <laughs> I'm over here in Las Vegas. You're in uh, Europe, right? Sunny Amsterdam. Well, not so sunny right now, but Amsterdam. It's the middle of the night here in Las Vegas, but it is. Uh, it's it's heating up. It's in the almost going to be a hundred tomorrow. So we're uh we're we're in the nice weather time of year. So what's good, man? T talk to me about uh, everything you got going on. Business is booming. You know the YouTube channel. We just spoke about it before. The the Facebook group. Everything is good. Building up those new products. I got a forum going. Might have I seen your it. mastermind, man. I'm excited. That's in uh, August, yeah. right? That's going to be huge. Yeah. So we're doing like a little build up right now, early bird sale. Uh, then in July, it's basically really starting. Uh, at the end, September is going to be the one big month. And hopefully, obviously, uh, I think you're in already, right? Yeah, I signed up for just the lowest one. Obviously, you know, I have a lot yeah. of experience. But yeah, I just to get that education going on, uh, on the lead. Kind of like this, you know, if I, if I learn one thing or two things out of that mastermind, one nugget uh, based on, you know, the kind of volume that we run over here and the experience that I have, you know, one one good tip or one knowledge bomb could, could make me 100 grand. Yeah, it's you good know? enough. So, so it's actually quite funny that you say that. Like, Almost a year ago, I bought this one course, right? And it had like 27 traffic modules. And I was like, man, this is going to be boring as fuck to go through this shit. And then there was one golden nugget on AdWords that made me like 200K. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> and I was like so That's happy. That's why I can buy education. I mean, you know, people, some of the stuff I sit through and, it, you know, everything's a good reminder. And then, you know, sometimes I can take, uh, I can take a look at your whole system and I can apply it to my system. You know what I'm saying? Because I have an educational company too. And there, there's, you know, you're doing yours kind of a different way than I'm doing mine. But uh, at the same time, maybe there's some tips there that I can, you know, incorporate into my business as well. So, you know, it was a, a tiny investment in terms of what I, you know, do overall revenue. So I was like, one nugget, it's worth it for sure, 100%. So just especially just like for us. The core value would be like in the in the onboarding, the one-on-one -on -one coaching, the direct communication every single day. But we put that, like I think it's called entry level. We put it out there for people like you and especially like the extreme beginner who just wants like a little bit of content yeah. to see, is this affiliate marketing really for me? And don't want to in, in, invest a couple of Gs. Right. Uh, in your situation, to just pick up, well, it's, it's still like I think 45 videos, like every single day for 45 days, you're going to be delivered like half an hour of footage. And then I, I met some guys, like, because I see the sales list already, right, for the early bird stuff. So I just reached out because you reached out to me on Skype, but some people didn't reach out. So I just gave them a message. And he's like, well, for me, it's not really interesting. And I'm like, why did you buy it? Well, I will just hand it off to one of my employees, one of my media buyers, and she can <laughs> uh, see if it's interesting for her. And I was like, man, okay. <laughs> yeah, I think this year, I mean, Granted, I won the I won a ClickBank Platinum Award. We did half a million on ClickBank in the first quarter of 2019. So we're we're not like tiny affiliates over here. Uh, no. <laughs> but uh, I think I've already bought at least 20 grand in courses this year alone, and I'm I'm on at that, that level. That just goes you yeah. to show how yeah, much. But that's the thing. I would say <laughs> that every everybody who keeps on learning, keeps on investing in that specific knowledge area, which they they are already in. The people who get comfortable, they don't do shit. They're like, oh, uh, yeah, oh, I do like half a million in profit a month, but then you've been doing that for the last six years. So are you really an entrepreneur or are you just a business owner? Right, exactly. There, there's no growth. And like I've been, yesterday I bought this, uh, I think uh, this Udemy, right? The, the online university thing. Like I bought it, we just talked about Active Campaign. $10 course, four hours on active campaign. I'm just going to watch a couple of things I need about the tagging system or yeah. you can figure out yourself. But for, for yeah, us, but a $10 for structured people, course might save you a, a thousands of dollars in a, in a mess yeah. up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Especially right now with all the recordings, the promo videos, the calls with all the, all the students, all the networks we work with. Like one hour, I save on average $1,000. So that's a, that's actually a good idea. I'm actually writing that down because uh, the active campaign like, is one of those. I actually use uh, Infusionsoft mostly. I think I mentioned that. And then I, yeah. I use active campaign. And here's why I use both, because 
when you're when you get a cold lead, Infusionsoft is really good for building out your CRM and everything, but the deliverability is not that good. And active campaign, from what I've seen so far, because I, I set up so many like fake emails, and what happens is I'll I'll send them from both, and I'll see them go into the inbox from active campaign and spam to, uh, infu from Infusion. Oh, so so what I'm gonna do is when I set up my like funnels and whatnot uh, for cold leads, I'm gonna set up uh, multiple autoresponder emails from each. Okay, so maybe the people are only seeing the active campaign. Maybe they're, they're seeing both. I don't know. But it's like a, a little bit of an insurance policy the way I look at it. That so, you at least deliver the email properly. Yeah, at uh, least yeah. one of them is probably going to get in the inbox. You know what I'm saying? For sure. <laughs> so like, I'll, I'll set up like probably like 30 emails, maybe 15 in each. And then each one will be tagged different days, you know, staggered out. So that's how I'm going to set it up to cold traffic when a lead comes into my my system. They're going to get 30 emails over the course of 30 days, but every other day from each CRM. So smart. So that way. It's well, you know, you know who taught me that? You ever heard of the guy who owns AWOL, K Kaylee Kane? That guy, he owns AWOL Academy. He's he's a he does about 30 million a year in info products on really? AWOL Academy, and he taught me that in a mastermind. So he, that's how he does it. So I'm like, well, if this guy's doing 30 million, he probably knows something. But, th but that's the thing, like that's the thing I like about info products and, and still just buying them, especially like a separate community you usually get. But on the other hand, the fact that there's always somebody who, who knows more than you. Oh, absolutely. Even if they're doing like 10K a month, they might know this little weird trick. And if you imply, apply it to your business, it's like 10 million a month because you are in a way more advanced stage. What I like about Active Campaign is that what I see, like, you know how the old affiliate marketing goes. Uh, get the opt-in, send like 60 spam emails in 60 days with a direct link to the sales page. Uh, and the main affiliate Active Campaign objection is they don't allow affiliate links in the email and then they will remove you from their software. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, because that's how I started, right? I did like one year, one and a half years of trying to get money and just trade sale people. And it never works because people don't trust you, people don't know you. Uh, and now what I do is like value first. Like the, what's it called? The book from Gary Vaynerchuk, like who could jab, something like that. You yeah, value jab, jab right hook. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, and then hit them with the, with, with the sale. And even well, you know, like your, your system's working because, you know, I, I stumbled across you th uh, from that guy, Yelani, the marketer. Uh, oh, yeah. I mentioned you on his and I, I, I flipped over to your channel just to check it out because there's not at least I, don't, I haven't seen that many channels on affiliate marketing. There, there's a, there's only a handful of people out there. And uh, so I, I stumbled across yours and I'm like, all right, well, he's doing like sweepstakes. I, I ran sweepstakes back in 2016. OK, I haven't touched that crap since then. And uh, I used to do app installs, all that crap. So like we kind of went away from that. But I'm like, wow, he's kind of like found another niche here that's, uh, you know, Facebook uh, sweepstakes. Uh, not us and i'm like okay well this there might be something here so that's how i started following you and i'm like all right well you know I, I don't really plan on running sweepstakes but there's maybe something that i can pull out of what you're doing that i can apply to maybe snapchat ads or instagram stories over here on some of the stuff we're running you know what i'm saying yeah so especially and one nugget <laughs> yeah uh, again <laughs> the thing uh the thing what we do and what we're actually doing with active campaign right now is we we distribute a content so we bring you to a blog post and if we want to sell something, the blog post is an editorial. Mm -hmm. So there's nev never uh, a straight sale. It's always sell you first. And usually what I think our autoresponder that we implement for the, for the mastermind is eight value emails, one soft sale, like a $12 sale. Mm -hmm. Because what we want, all we want is the audience to commit. So the YouTube channel is free. The Facebook group is free. The amount of content which is published there should be able to get you to 10K a month with mm -hmm. just sweeps. Most people can't because they cannot commit because they don't know. Uh, and the fact that you said like, there's not many affiliate marketing. Well, I have like this list of affiliate marketers on YouTube, which I keep up with. And there's, there's actually a couple which are really interesting. Some specialize in SEO, others do ClickBank only, others do pay-per-click. But the, the thing I'm missing in that scene is that they're all solopreneurs. They never work with a team. They all work between 10 to 100K churn and burn campaigns until there's nothing. And you never see somebody with like a, well, a media buying company at the end of the day is still an affiliate. But yeah, that I affiliate have two full-time media buyers. So <laughs> yeah, that affiliate just hired 60 people to sit there and push uh, a million a day in, in, in crap. 
Uh, and that's that's something which I think is significant, and that's what we're trying to do right now. It's obviously, we're distributing the content, but we're building out way more. So I actually uh, got in contact with Affiliate World, uh, Barcelona, Europe, sure, just in like in July, and we wanted to film there inside with like a, a professional film crew. Obviously, the amount of content you can get there, like all the the head pieces of the affiliate marketing world, uh, communities, they are there. And you don't have to invite them to your office. You don't have to pay them. Like you just tell them, like, hey, I have an audience of like six thousand affiliates. You can do a five-second promo, and then I ask you questions about everything I want to know. In that sense, it requires a lot of effort from me, and it might turn out shit, right? And that's what I feel like most affiliates are just in their shell, and they don't want to really go out there. Like if you yourself have hired two media buyers. That is like a huge step because can you trust them? They work with a lot of money. It's your money. You work hard for it. And it's such a step. But when you take that step, that is when you become an entrepreneur and not somebody who just has a job and works for themselves because then you're just an employee, but for yourself. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. The, uh, the, the funny thing was I, uh, I, the one, met, the one guy I actually met on Craigslist and I, I've made him kind of like my really? business partner now. We're, we're partners. Like I, I wouldn't even call him my media buyer anymore. He's, he still runs more, the majority of the media, but he's my business partner. Like the course we have, like we're both teaching, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then the other guy, he, uh, funny, he was working for me really, really hard for like six months. That's how we went to number one on, um, ClickBank in November of 2018. Uh, but mostly because of him was well, actually all three of us, but, uh, he, he actually was the one who found the offer, uh, through testing. And then, uh, we crushed that offer and, uh, he, he blew it up. And then what happened was he, I got, I met him through one of my masterminds and then he teamed up with another guy from the mastermind and they came out with their own product and now they're, he's off teaching. So, yeah. 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 So it's kind of funny. Like yeah, that was, but he said, he said within two weeks when he's done with the students, he's coming back. He's like, you better fire up the credit card. We're going big. <laughs> We're so, going big again. So, you, uh, which which vertical do you run on ClickBank? You don't have to call out the product. Uh, I can tell you the offer now because we're not even running anymore. Um, we we killed it with that uh, that energy offer. It was um, uh, I, I want to say it was like the make your own energy offer. Uh, it was on like page twenty, and we that offer we our, our, ourselves my company brought sixty percent of the traffic and brought it up to number two on ClickBank. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> that's usually the thing, right? When you see a lot of new affiliates approach ClickBank, they go gravity, take like red tea detox, they go for the, for the black hat verticals, then they cannot run it. Uh, they, they see the gravity. Gravity doesn't mean shit. Like if you have the gravity of one and there's like one affiliate, what you said. Well, I can tell you what we screwed up, man. Here's what we should have done. Once we realized this offer was converting, we should have took it off. We should have contacted the, 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 the guy who owned the offer and we should have like took it off ClickBank because as soon as we got that thing cranking and it rose up to the top, guess what? Every affiliate and their brother jumped on it because they saw it on the top of ClickBank. Yeah, <laughs> and it's a small one. audience because it's like your uh, do-it-yourself or the DIYs and the uh, and the survivalists. That that's audience. So that audience is not that big, you know, on Facebook. It's it's big, but it's not it's not ridiculous. It's not like weight loss, you know what I'm saying? Or make money online. Those are way bigger. You know, so once we saturated that audience, it was like two months and we were done. That was it. We burned it out. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah I mean, it yeah. was still converting, but we weren't making money. You know what I'm saying? So, so, so in that sense, like, were you ever during those two months, right? Because what you could do is just take that product, do a copy of it yourself, just swipe the entire thing, and then four months later, half a year later, run it again yeah, for yourself. Well, ironically, we took it over to Pinterest and we're still running it on Pinterest. So uh, that's what interesting for me. Is it like just ads or is it like organic? Uh, it's all it's all ads, but we, we have to run it very creatively on Pinterest because it's hard to get stuff approved on that kind of stuff approved on there, honestly. So it's it's similar to what you said. We're running like a, uh, you know, kind of like an advertorial type of thing. And then we have to like kind of kind of ease them into the offer. You know what I'm saying? So but it's still, it's still doing well. Yeah, it, it's 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 making money, but it's not crushing it. It's, it's making so money. What would be the average ROI in that? We're probably running about 30 to 40% right now. It's so it's pretty good. Yeah. Especially for like a, a consistent flow. For, for me, what we do is like the Instagram story ads. Mm -hmm. oh, the Instagram story ads, usually it's like, what, is, what, what does it bring? Around 20 to 30% ROI, but it's like consistent for like four months. You make it yes. once, you don't touch it. 
uh, on the, on the, I the think that's kind of the way the affiliate stuff's been going lately, at least for us in the last like six to eight months. Ever, well, Facebook, when their apocalypse happened back like in May, we didn't even run on Facebook for almost three months. We couldn't even get anything approved. Uh, and then we started getting things approved again. And then, um, it, you know, we found kind of like our, our, our ROI was generally between 20 and 40 percent. Like that was really about the best. Anytime you put any scale on anything, that was about the best you could get. So, because I mean, we were running like at, at one time we were doing about 10, 15 K a day. So, you know, pretty, pretty good numbers, but at that kind of numbers, you're not going to make more than, you know, maybe three, four grand tops. I mean, just not. So, so, so when you, yeah, yeah, I agree. So when you look at like the performance marketing in general, I will I'll give you my point of view. What I like about it is that you get a lot of money and you get it fast because it always paid ads. The con is straight to that that if you don't work, you don't get anything. Right. <laughs> and that, that's why I, I started my, my new business model with like recurring products. That was my, my, my two first products. One is already online and the second one is about to go online. They're both recurring to get that cash flow. Yeah. To get that stability, that foundation for like the huge project they have. What do you think about performance? Do, do you rather do like Yeah, we're actually talking minutes? about putting some kind of reincurring uh, offer into our, our next launch. Uh, we're getting ready to launch the, um, the, the product's actually called Lead Gen Affiliate. Uh, that's the, the, the domain I have. And uh, we're talking to ClickBank right now. Um, you know, there, there is probably going to be, it's probably going to be fairly high ticket. And then we're talking about doing either an upsell with the Pinterest stuff or including it and charging at a higher price. And then yeah. also, we're, we're actually the number five um, advertiser on Pinterest in quarter one of 2019. So pretty pretty really? good. That's five nice. in the world. <laughs> pretty, yeah. pretty so good. so based on when you said high ticket, what would high ticket be? Because high ticket for me is probably very different than for our audience. Uh, like a high ticket product for me, like I, the last coaching group I had was 4997. Okay, that was the coaching group. That was one-on-one -on -one for eight weeks. Uh, yeah, not one-on-one, -on -one, but a like group coaching. Okay, this one, I think what we're going to do is do more like a product, like a eight, eight to nine week drip feed, and then probably do a 1997, maybe with a reoccurring upsell. So, All right. Yeah, for me, like for my audience, I would say that's like entry, for because my mastermind, the entry, which is basically just a drip feed, is 1K, mm -hmm. and it goes all the way to 1 million. That's like the high ticket for us. Like yeah, I saw your thing. I saw your spreadsheet. Yeah, about 250k because we're, we're we're removing that because the advertisers asked us to not use that anymore. So now that is offline. Uh, it's a little bit of a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> for, for, the, for the next part, as you can see, like for us, high ticket is 250k, uh, very very different. But we also started with like the 1k, right, in April, because you just have to get that traction going. As soon as you see it works, you make it better. Uh, but the widespread options, I think, I think when you step in a 1k and just upsell recurring. With like one time, uh, one click upsells, yeah. yeah, that's great because you have a lot of take rate, especially when it's on ClickBank, uh, maybe even like run a lead magnet for the affiliates. Uh, based on, on all your practices, all your things you've run, how big would your affiliate list be? Uh, like my affiliate list, uh, as far as like people that are actually people that were have been our students in the past. Is that yeah, what I mean? your audience on on, uh, on YouTube. I don't know if you ever did anything with that. Yeah, I mean, I got like just recently I put out a wait list for the course. I got about 100 signups right off the bat. So decent, nice. uh, you know, probably all those people won't buy. But um, I, in the past, I've had about 200 students uh, over the last two launches. So this will be the this will be the biggest launch, I think. I, I'm pretty sure if I take this one, I'm, I already talked to Greg Davis. I don't know if you know who he is. He's a pretty big affiliate over here in the States. He, we're going to do a launch to his list. I got I got a couple JVs lined up for the launch. Uh, for their their lists, and then uh, I'm actually talking to Mark Ling. I don't know if you know who Mark Ling is, but uh, Mark Ling just had a mastermind in Austin. I went to it. He owns about ten products on ClickBank, so he's a pretty big hitter. He's he's a big deal, uh, and uh, he's he's he only does it with a couple people a year, but he'll take on like a guy like me or my team, and then he'll he'll basically run his whole circuit uh, if if he decides to take on our product, and potentially I'll, I'll do like thirty JV launches, okay, with his circuit. Yeah, yeah. So that's it's a different business model than what you're doing, but that but that's one know. thing we can look at. It, it, I don't know. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, so we're still kind of like looking at the options. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but but I would say it, it's kind of not the same, but kind of the same. Yeah. Uh, in, in in total pictures that we do like the info product thing as well. Uh, we we have shaken a lot of hands lately. Like I would say from going to no meetings in 
April, then in May, I did 20, 26 meetings. Oh, wow. Just for the program of the mastermind. I think this is a fun story. Like I told my team already, but you, you, you guys, everybody can hear this because that is what progress is. I did my first presentation for the mastermind deal with, with the advertisers on my first day with my favorite party. I asked them for a straight amount of money. So multiple six figures for, for, for a deal. Uh, they said we're not interested and they hang up like after my entire presentation because I said like that's never possible. That's just how did you even make that up? And I'm like, well, I have to start somewhere. I just made it up. Right? That number, there was no, no concrete evidence that it was possible or anything. Then I did 16 presentations and everybody said no. Then I took everything in, in one morning because that the meeting was on Tuesday and on Friday. So in four days, I did 16 presentations. Then on Friday, I grabbed all the material Friday morning. And I was like, what, what went wrong? They said this, they said this. I wrote everything down, all the objections. Then I remade it. I called my main partner again. I said, I want another meeting this afternoon. He's like, well, sure. If you have a new ID, fine. Well, will you want to hear it? Because we really want to work together, but not on insane terms, which makes sense. Right. Then I, 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 I restructured it to, to fit all the obligations. And we got a deal the same afternoon. And that was the first deal. Then I went the next week and got the other deal, which I wanted. So nice. that way it's like 16 fails and then you get a win. But right. I think most people do like four meetings and like, oh, my ID is stupid. Well, you just, I've never done it before. I never given a presentation about such sums of money. And at the end of the day, I didn't get any money. Like we did a whole different kind of contract in the end. Uh, it wasn't about money after all, which I just want money. <laughs> but you have to look into the relationship more. Like if you're shaking hands with like big ClickBank affiliates or offer owners, these guys have huge lists. These guys have huge audiences usually, and they're really smart. They have like huge influence in the entire industry. Yeah. Uh, so if, if you shake hands with them, it's not about you just winning always, because if you have a good team, you are a young entrepreneur, you have several businesses, you can bring something to the table and make everything better. But obviously, like I always say, I never say it's win-lose. It's always win-win, but Colin wins more. Because I put in the effort, right? <laughs> and I'm, I'm super transparent about that. And I think that's why the partners that I work with for this mastermind, they just believe in the ambition. They don't really care about the mastermind. They're like, okay, that's cool. If you bring us some affiliate, that's cool. But the ambition and everything for the long term, for the next three years, I've already mapped it out, everything. Which I would say the audience that is watching this right now, you probably haven't mapped out in the next three days. Yeah, probably true. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm kind of the same way. I kind of mapped out a five-year plan uh, for, for my educational company, too. It, it, you can look at the numbers for what they say the education is for the next, uh, you know, the, the projection to, like, you know, 2023, the next four or five years. And they say, like, the, the bo bo boom of, like, online education courses is still to come. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. You know, that so like we're getting in at the right time, even though it might seem like we're behind the, you know, behind the curve because, you know, Tony Robbins and Dean Graziosi and Russell, you know, those those big wigs have, you know, just put out another huge launch. So I don't know, some crazy amount of millions. And but the funny thing is, I think that the, the market is still like in its infancy stages. OK, so sure. because you and I and people like us, we're, we're kind of like up and coming and we've kind of, you know, we're kind of in the trenches right now and we're getting the results. Some of these guys that are like popular right now, I'm not going to name names, but they got results like six years ago or five years ago or four years ago. And they've become like this, you know, pedestal type of like guru, but they're not really like in the trenches anymore. You know what I'm saying? They're not really <laughs> making the money on Facebook and Pinterest and the stuff like we're yeah. really doing and teaching. Or, or like we're actually, actually yeah. doing it. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Yeah. I would say if you want to teach, like I had some guy send me a weird quote last last like last month and he said those who cannot do teach and I was like man you're a fucking shit face because we actually run the traffic still ourselves we don't run like multiple uh, six figures anymore because I don't need to right. we make enough money with other things and that's where our focus is yeah, I mean, I was, if we can fire up a pitch campaign and show that we're making $500 a day like pretty much at will that's valuable 
You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, well, I don't need to make $20,000, but if I can show someone how to make $500 a day, that's life-changing money for most people, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> do that all day. Right now, for, for as an example, in September, Facebook is going to do the campaign budget optimization. So the entire flow that we teach changes. Yes, 100%. I already know how it's going to work, but we don't we don't do it ourselves because at that time I'm 100% sure we won't running be running the campaigns that we run right now on, on such a scale. But right now we're testing push. We're there, testing push sweeps. We're testing push dating, just to see if there's any value there for the long term that we might be able to teach or just information we can share. And I feel like when you say like there's like these guru guys who teach what they've been teaching for six years and platforms change. People change, everything changes. So lately I've been watching a lot of uh, Dan Pena, the, the, old, uh, the old guy, you know him? He's like a grandpa, but he's like savage as fuck. Uh, and he just mentioned, like, that's what interests me because he, he talks shit a lot and that's why I like him. But on the other hand, um, he, he coached Dan Lok, for example. Like he coached a lot of millionaires, billionaires, a very interesting guy, a very, his ethics are very different than others. But he said, what are you going to say to your grandchildren when they ask you, Grandpa, why didn't you step up when the biggest transfer of wealth happened in the world? <laughs> After the Second World War, this is like the biggest transfer of wealth. Sure. Right now, anybody can tap into it and make it happen. So fun fact, in the Facebook group yesterday, uh, some guy mentioned like, hi, I'm from Egypt. Uh, the, the average wage here is $100 a month US. Okay. Uh, I don't know what I need to do because I want to run campaigns, but I only have $100. So I was like, all right, good. Usually we just delete those kind of posts, right? We don't need any beggars. But I was like, this guy's English is perfect. He, he's not really asking for anything. I was like, well, maybe you need to look for a skill that you can offer because online the opportunity is limitless. Right. So I said, what can you do? He's like, well, I can do graphic design. And I was like, well, I don't need a designer, but can you do any VA work? Like just scrape emails or whatever. He's like, well, I've worked as a VA before. And I'm like, all right, message my page, $100 a month. I will give him double that. And he can just do like random online tasks for me, which I don't want to do. And this guy, he was like so happy. He messaged me all night. So when I woke up, my whole, th my whole message feed on my page was like full with him sending me messages. But that's the opportunity people have, like especially like Bangladesh, Kazakhstan, India, those kinds of countries, these guys from India are so smart. Their computer skills are so insane. I mean, a coder here in Europe, like a, a Microsoft coder, it's like they earn like 400, uh, 4K a month in euros. So like 4.5 uh, US. I would pay the same for a guy in India. I don't give a fuck where they're from as long as they do the work, which yeah. I need them to do. But if you get 4.5K Euro, uh, US in India, I think you're pretty much a baller. Yeah. Yeah. It's a world of difference. I've had a VA from India on my team for 12 years. She's fantastic. Like best thing since sliced bread. And, uh, you know, it's funny. I have a, a good story about that too. I have a, uh, a really good SEO guy in the States and I pay him pretty well for my, my services business. And, uh, I, I, I have a blog and it was kind of slow, you know, like the, the speed. So I was like, dude, you got to help me out with this. I don't know how to fix this shit. You know, it's not, I'm not some, I'm my specialty. And he goes, he goes, oh, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I waited for three months. He never got to it. So I finally, my, uh, my media buyer has a coder. So I asked him on Skype, I said, yo, bro, can you fix the speed on this thing? In three days, he got it like super fast. And the thing was like, I paid the guy like $25 and it was like working perfect. I'm like, dude, I got this high, high dollar US coder. that didn't want to waste his time, you know, doing that. But 25, 30 bucks, this guy had it humming. It's like eight, seven on desktop, like 60 on mobile now, which is pretty good. And exactly. And for me, it's, it's not about money. It's just you want a design result. And as soon as you have cash flow, because when I didn't have cash flow, I would just figure it out myself, right? I would spend two days to set up Amazon S3. Right now, I just pay somebody 100 bucks to fix it in like 10 minutes. Done. Yeah. Before, I, I would hustle myself. I would do things. I wanted to know things. Uh, and what I experienced right now, which is actually quite funny, is to let go of that control. Yeah. To give people the opportunity. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of the same way. Like when I, when I don't know something, I'd rather kind of learn it just because I want to learn it. I'd like to figure it out. But at the end of the day, your time and my time at some point is going to be better spent doing more higher level stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, but at the same time, you still got that, 
that itch that you want to learn stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like I have the itch. Like I like I really want to learn how to use uh you know the YouTube ad system. I haven't really done it. I run some AdWords, but no, nothing really on YouTube. So like I want to learn it. You know, like I just want to. You know, it makes it gets me excited to think about like crushing it with some YouTube ads. You know. <laughs> Especially like usually what I would do right now in my position, I would just record the videos talking about it, let somebody edit it, and then they put it online, do the bidding and everything. And I just read the data once a week uh, with them or they report me the data. Uh, but I love data. So I'm like, okay, let's just take one hour and read all this data. But then you have questions, right? Which ad? What is the CTR? Why? This, I have like a thousand questions. And before you know it, you're six hours in <laughs> trying right. to do the work that they're supposed to do. Which, uh, yeah, that would be my biggest struggle. And I would yeah, say, it's funny, like around be... Christmas time when I got all my e-com shit going, I'll have like Shopify stores, eBay, Amazon, uh, affiliate <laughs> offers. I'll have like 20 things going on on my screen. I, I got like two monster screens I'm looking at here. And I'll have like literally like graph, 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 graph. I'm like, I wish someone could really see what I got going on right here right now. Because <laughs> like the normal human being would look at this and be like, what the fuck, are you flying an airplane? Oh, the blow. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> But I mean, I, I think that was where I would I would say the true entrepreneur is there, right? I see too many people. Well, I don't judge. Like, if you're comfortable being like by yourself, then be by yourself. But if you have a vision that is bigger than what it is right now, you need to grow. And right. with growth comes a change, and change is scary, right? Yeah, I've had a couple bad hires too, man. Like along the way, though, that's one of the big things. Is like it's really hard to find like a good uh, media buyer type partner. You know that you mentioned that earlier. Man, I, I've, I've had like two that have really worked out awesome. And then I've also had like four that didn't work out at all. They just like ended up costing me more time and headaches than anything. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, you know, I want to expand more, but at the same time, I'm a little bit gun shy too. So, you know, well, I think, I think maybe you should be, but I've, I've been talking with a lot of different business owners lately. And then, uh, you know, the circle thing, right? Five people in your circle, that's what you're going to be in like three months. But for me, as things are going so fast, it's like sometimes three weeks or even three days. When I need meet a new person, right now I met a woman from Amsterdam who's really, really successful. I really admire her. But actually, sometimes she helps me and sometimes I help her business. Although she runs like, a, like it's not even realistic for me to talk about it. It's like a huge business, very successful, but she's comfortable, which I see more potential there. And I'm young and I'm ambitious. But right. With those people to connect with that, they teach you like the small things. And what you said when buying that mastermind or buying that course for like that one golden nugget, uh, what I usually used to do is hire slow, fire fast. The last two months have changed to hire fast, fire fast. <laughs> right. You have to hire fast. Yeah. And what I do now is I have now people who message me asking for a job. And I'm like, well, I've probably around 10 positions open but I just don't have the time to fill those positions. And it's all remote, right? Uh, because it's easier. So one guy was like, well, I want to do a sales position for the mastermind. Uh, I think I'm a good closer. I want to assist. Uh, can we come to an agreement? And I really like this guy already because I've been knowing him for quite a while now. I was like, well, let's just see what you can do then. Work two weeks for free. Have a call with me every day for an hour to go over things. After those two weeks, you get a one, one month of probation, which is paid. Then we sign a contract and you have three months probation. And after that, I give you like an official employment contract. It's pretty good. Going over that amount of time, I like they have a lot of time to prove themselves that they actually want it because obviously everything is moving so fast, growing so fast, they need to adjust fast. So the, the coder, which it previously the one landing page a day, is now doing 20 landing pages a day. And if, if you are like, oh, yeah, but I have like three kids and I can only work nine to five. Well, that's not the kind of people you that's not going to cut it. <laughs> I, I don't care when you work. I have, I have one girl right now. Uh, she has two kids and she works in the middle of the night because her kids are sometimes crying like the baby. And I'm like, well, you can work whenever the fuck you want as long as you show up to the team meetings. That's all I care for. I just want to know what you're doing, the reporting and stuff. I think that is. That is like the biggest part which I enjoy, especially the coaching is very fulfilling. Uh, the education is very fulfilling, but also give people an opportunity they would have never have gotten otherwise. Because I don't give a shit about a degree. Like I know guys who self-study and are miracle coders. Right. So the, the yeah. degree doesn't mean shit the anymore. Well, shit these days, you know, it, it, 
it depends how hungry they are really what is what matters i mean I, you could hire people with a degree that ends up being terrible and then vice versa so yeah i'm, I'm with you man but um well any, anything else that uh you want to throw out there man before we cut this dry i think it was um, some pretty good content for the uh the viewers we, should, we have a lot to talk about other than this so we should do this regularly yeah, we'll, check, we'll have to check in man so when is uh when is your mastermind start for uh for everyone out there, because I joined it, but I, I just remember seeing it was like September, I think, or even maybe yeah. it's August. So, so what happens is right now we have an early bird sale, basically to uh, to onboard all the people who've been waiting the last two months. Because okay. it has been quiet the last two months. So that goes on until 50 students or uh, 50 students or 1st of July. And right now we have 36 students, so 1st of July is not going to happen. <laughs> Was uh, I one of those 36? Yeah, you're one of them. <laughs> Uh, and then hey man he, he offered it for 40 percent off if you don't sign up man you're crazy because it's not uh, going to go any lower it's, it's like for me if i would know and i've been following myself like if i would follow you and you would offer this it's a no-brainer i would jump right. on it but i cannot judge people i cannot judge their wallet uh, i know that will deliver significantly uh, even if it's like for the front end but also for the back end the advertising deals we have so the the third and fourth week of august it actually starts we're doing like a technical setup so you will get videos on how to set everything up. We have a coaches, five coaches of standby to walk you through it on calls if, if you struggle. But it's, it's very simple. And then the first, yeah, you're, you're doing something totally separate from what we're doing right now. At least right now, you're doing sweepstakes, Facebook, foreign countries from the U.S. Not foreign for you, but uh, we're we're doing like all U.S. traffic. Uh, all the funny thing is we're doing a lot of CPA, but it's e-com products that are CPA. So we're yeah. crushing it with those. Um, we, we just destroyed it in uh, the first quarter of 2019. So, you know, if, if people are interested in, in that, I, I think there's, you know, they're kind of the same, but they're kind of different. It's like two completely separate, like, yeah, just a different vertical. Uh, <laughs> I mean, what, what I like, because that's basically what the, what the copy and the lenders are. If you know how, how one lender works, you can adjust it in so many ways. Like a Absolutely. quiz works for like an editorial. It's basically either a quiz or an editorial. You rarely have like video sales letters anymore on a bridge. Unless, like, I'm speaking to my audience specifically and not like random, but it overlaps so much. Unless you go like into the black hat world, that's that's right. very different. Yeah, we don't like that. I don't like that whole black hat world, man. We try to stay even with the white hat stuff nowadays. We get our accounts banned and crap. I'm sure you, I've yeah. seen a couple of your videos about that. So. I agree. Yeah, man. Like, it sometimes it's a struggle, and that's I would say a very big KPI for you because I haven't talked about that much what's included in the mastermind, uh, but. Are you in the forum? Uh, I, I haven't joined it yet. I just signed up for the, the uh, whatever, the low, low, low one. I just yeah. figured I'd jump so into. We, in the forum, we have like an ad account guide, which will also be provided by Mastermind. So you don't have necessarily have to join the forum, but in, 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 the, in the Mastermind, you'll basically get a setup guide and videos on how to get non farmed accounts. Yeah, so I got, I got the same thing in my course too, with uh, a, whole, a whole video on how to get uh, Craigslist business managers. So yeah, um, and that's it. It, it kind of doesn't work with Craigslist that well, but it's kind of the same setup where mm -hmm. they live very long, right? My my average lifespan for an account is eight months, which I would say normal affiliates is like eight days. Yeah. Or even one day. I get <laughs> a lot longer than that, but sometimes Facebook just decides to do these like huge like blanket bans, and they got me this last time. But I got six out of my twelve business managers back last week, so at least I, I'm back up and yeah. running. That's yeah, cool. it's just they they. I, I see I have a little bit of an adult content on my Bachelor Vegas site. And oh, I think yeah. that somehow it's not it's not bad, but they talk about strip clubs. Okay. That's a big no no. Yeah, and yeah. I think that's what triggered at this time that they wiped me pretty good, man. My my media buyer, they they wiped his personal profile out. He can't even Oh yeah. 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 I, so I didn't even know they would do that. Like people getting locked out and shit. And I always say, like, don't run off of your personal account, right? Like it usually they just ban your personal ad account, but it's still yeah, risky. But they right? wiped out his personal profile. Yeah, that's crazy. But <laughs> with, with the entire concept, I mean like Facebook is so paranoid. Like, look what they're doing right now. Wiping um wiping customer data interest data. Yeah, I think like, the info and ad section is gone now too, right? Yeah, too. So you have like the ad library, which is kind of the same, but for users to be able to wipe their interest, which basically means the targeting for the advertisers, Gone. like probably nobody's going to do it in the end, but still right. it's it's working against the money and yep. it's working towards like 
politics. So yeah. the more politics get involved, uh, it's going to be the end of Facebook in the end because advertisers are going to move. And when advertisers yeah. move, revenue goes down and it all goes to shit. Yeah, we're running on Pinterest, native. We're doing other stuff, man. It's just it's gotten to the point for us where we're just frustrated. You know, you do all that work, you get you get everything working, you're making money, and then like overnight your business is gone. Boom. It's yeah, gone. you should look into uh, what's that new thing called? I checked it out like last week. TikTok. It's it's not that new, but for advertisers. I heard about it. I already heard about it last week. TikTok. It's a it's a social network, right? Yeah, but like even if like for normal uh, like niches, if you go like gaming or funny comedy, the daily impressions are at already 300 million for your ad. Wow. It's TikTok, like crazy. Huh? and it's like the CPMs are crazy low, but the interface is like terrible. Terrible. Same, same okay. with like Snapchat in the beginning. When I ran Snapchat ads, like all the things they have now, they didn't have a pixel. You couldn't edit your budget as soon as it was launched. Like it was so crap. They were only like five I on Facebook. <laughs> Looks just like Facebook. <laughs> yeah, well, I would say Facebook developed well very fast because everybody jumped on it, right? Uh, but one thing I also like is like Tumblr, especially if you want to run adult. Like it has a lot of adult content on Tumblr. Oh, okay. Like I, I was on there doing some research and I was like, well, this is not a porn site, is it? But that's like a crazy amount of porn, like on the actual social network. Some of my best campaigns were on ExoClick, man, all adult. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, I just but, I just did a campaign on ExoClick, like uh, remember that Dosh app? I don't know if you have that over there, but it's a it's an app where you get like cash back with your credit card, and uh, it was they were paying fifteen dollars a freaking install. And I'm like, dude, this is great. Direct link, went to ExoClick, dropped like three three grand on it, made like $1,500 in a day. Just like, boom. Yeah, it's Just crazy. Like, I'm like, but, I haven't fired up my ExoClick account. I'm like, I don't even know if I have a login anymore. I went and like, I'm like, I went and looked. I'm like, I still got money in there. I didn't even know I had it. It was like four years ago that I fired that thing up. Yeah. <laughs> made $1,500 in like two days. <laughs> well, I would say adults is getting harder. But when we, like, that's what I said about the conferences and shit. Like, you have these affiliate managers who are like, like, these young girls, right? And I just want to ask them, like, how do you feel approving all these hard cocks for dick pills? And then <laughs> just shove the microphone in their face. Because <laughs> that's, like, hilarious content. It's always business. It's always serious. But I would say bring that human part into it. I mean, that could be so much fun. And especially, I hope you don't get, like, demonetized for your channel by saying, because last time I said all these words, you know, I made this push traffic uh uh, I think it was Aplexity, and I opened one of these sites, and I and I blurred it, right? It yeah, still got the monetized. Ah, <laughs> like that, wow, that video. Because <laughs> I said, like, all the, the sexual words, right, in that, like, one-minute frame, and then they gave me an Somehow email and said, it, like, I didn't get a strike. I just, they just said, like, uh, most advertisers will not uh, find this suitable for their content. But uh, that was hilarious. But, yeah, like, adult traffic, it really interests me. Uh, not to run it myself, but man, there's so much money out there. Uh, yeah, there's a huge uh, I, I adult. Don't know um, what these ads look like because I never visited those websites. Yeah, there's a huge adult um, uh, convention here in Vegas, and the, all the big sites are out here, man. Like, out there, it's a big deal. I mean, these these people, these women, they're smart, man. They can code in like Ruby on Rails and stuff. Like, hot ass women own these sites, and they're coding in Ruby on Rails. You would never expect it. <laughs> But my, I like, uh, I think for me, what, what actually interests what I would like to run myself is like uh, casual dating, mainstream dating, that's what it's called. Yeah. Like not adult dating, but like mainstream dating, like what are these sites called? Like Lexa, Online Cupid, those kind yeah, of. Yeah, there's a bunch of them, man. There's like uh, Russian Beauty or Russian Bride. Is one well, of them. I mean, like Russian Bride is already going to the adult thing, right? Because you would get a bride to do what? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, true, true. <laughs> But, and, you know, there's, like, those uh, eHarmony and stuff like that. Like, yeah. yeah. Like mm -hmm. that. Or, and in that sense, like, I, I always keep in my mind the main business pillars, right? What is it? Like, dating, uh, make money online. Or yeah, make money. health, wealth, and, and relationship, man. Those are the three big ones. Yeah, those three pillars. Uh, and health, I would say, is just not my thing. Because way back, I think, like, six years ago, I did, used to do some, like, uh, fitness coaching, uh, weight loss, and I just hated, like, Nobody has the discipline that I have. So <laughs> I can eat like rice and chicken all day. I don't, I don't have to right now, but I could do it if I wanted to. Uh, and I would say, well, we talked about your, your buddy before, right? Like you can do it too. It's right. just like a whole different degree because working is discipline, but eating is very different because you get cravings and to control those things requires such a level of discipline. Uh, and then coaching clients, I'm like, man, you're for, like, oh, you just give them a baseline calories. 
I, I, I did the calories, but I didn't lose weight. That's like physically impossible. Like, you, <laughs> take this you don't know why. They're lying. Yeah, you're lying. If you, if you didn't lose weight, it means you consume more calories. It's, it's not possible either way. No, I didn't. And I'm like, bitch, you did. Yeah. You're lying. You're lying. You're lying. Yeah. yeah. I actually used to practice training back when I was like, in, like 21, 22 years old. So I know. Pretty funny. And well, then, we got and a lot then, of common, man. That was a good conversation. Definitely. Uh, uh, I also have a, a product coming out too. So if any of you guys are interested in like the Pinterest stuff, that's uh, you know something completely different from what you're doing. Sure. So I will, I will keep my eye on that because even if yeah. I'm not going to run it, I just want to see what it's all about because probably you're using like one or two very smart tricks to, to get it to work. Yeah. Uh, but you know what's also interesting, which is very hard to get approved, Reddit ads. Uh, yeah, I've, I've, I actually tried to run Quora for a little bit, but it wasn't profitable. Um, but uh, I haven't tried Reddit. But, but there's you know, so all these are like, like we talk Facebook, Instagram. That's what I talk. But there's so much more. And yes, get to figure there's it out. literally thousands of traffic sources out there. Um, that's why you know I'm, I'm encouraging in our in my my latest product. I'm encouraging people to learn the the fundamentals instead of just like learning how to run traffic on Pinterest or run traffic on Facebook. Like the fundamentals we teach from beginning to end are the ones that are gonna take you to any traffic source and should be able to eventually get you profitable if you master the source. So actually build a real long-term business instead of just doing yeah. like one business unit. Yeah. And, and, the, and the, you know, the fact that I have like a, a services business and I'm applying a lot of like the affiliate stuff to the services business and now my sales have gone up 30% every year for the last three years because I'm like, doing online marketing for the services business and I'm taking like some of the stuff I've learned through the affiliate. So like, it doesn't even matter if you're an affiliate, if you're a business owner, this stuff can help you. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. All good. Interesting. I'm, uh, I'm for sure going to keep my eye on that. You got to estimate the time when it's coming out. Um, I, I should be ready to launch probably after uh, Memorial day weekend. You don't even have Memorial day over there probably, but uh, that would be like the first of June, probably. I'll be first ready. of June. All right. That's two weeks, right? Yeah. Two weeks, man. We're ready. It's already filmed. I just got to put it all. Um, I got to get the presentation done and the sales letter cleaned up a little bit, but it's pretty much done. So. All right. So before that time, we should do this again. I think both our audiences would appreciate that. Sounds good, man. Actually, it's been a really good chat. Obviously, like I didn't know you. I didn't talk to you before <laughs> this at all. Like we talked yeah. a little bit on Skype back and forth. Like, oh, I don't have time. I don't have time. <laughs> but actually, now I'm even more interested in talking to you more, even on this camera view or not on this camera view. Yeah. You live in Las Vegas, right? I do. So then I'll probably even see you in I'm February. For the affiliate yeah, summit, I'm gonna do yeah. an event actually. Uh, maybe I can have you speak at the event, uh, by the way, because uh, I'm gonna do an event uh, as part of the um, offer stack for my offer, and it'll include a ticket to my event in Las Vegas, and it's gonna be either right before or right after the affiliate summit, like two or three days, you know, like right before. Oh, right I'll, I'll for sure. Like I think even for for like the 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 event in Barcelona, I'm going one week, even if the event's like two days. Yeah. Obviously, the opportunity to not relax, but like experience things and Las Vegas. I only have been to New York, I, I think, and Minnesota, but Minnesota wasn't Yeah, I'll, sh I'll show you around town. I own Bachelor Vegas, so, you know, hey, yeah, I got a few connections. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man, all good. Thank you for your time. Uh, all good, buddy. Well, hey, uh, we'll talk soon, man, and uh, good luck with everything in your mastermind. I'm looking forward to it. For sure. Thank you. All right, buddy. Bye. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today. It was a definitely a power-packed interview, a lot of valuable content. Uh, great talking to my guy, Colin. Uh, striking up a nice friendship. That was actually the first time we've actually talked face to face, and uh, it was really good talking to another a super affiliate in another country who kind of runs uh, different traffic than what I run. But at the same time, we're still all kind of in the same boat doing affiliate marketing. So if you uh, did like what you saw today, I would appreciate a thumbs up on the video. And if you'd like to see more uh, stuff like this, like interviews with me and other super affiliates, I do have a pretty large network, and I could bring. Uh, other people onto the channel. If you got value out of this, leave me a comment below. I'd love to find out uh, what you thought of this. And make sure you, have, you subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and bang that notifications bell. And do me a favor and like this video. Help me get some, uh, some reach with this uh, content because I do spend a lot of time on this channel giving you guys valuable content. And I want more people to see it and, and spread the word about what we got going on over here. So um, other than that, if you uh, would like to know more about that ClickBank Platinum Award, I got a video over here showing uh, how I got that award and talking about uh, what it took for me to get that award. So check that out, and I'll talk to you later. I'm the Marketing Meathead, signing out.